Hello, this is the Jurassic Expert here, back with another video. Um, this time I am reviewing the, um, older Bow Damage 2-pack with the Bow Damage Extreme Chomping T-Rex and the Bow Damage Monolophosaurus. Now, fun fact, these two, um, were actually, uh, the, uh, one of the first figures that I got from, uh, Mattel, um, about a year ago, more than a year ago, um, I actually got them off of eBay, because I found them for, I, I forget how much it was, but I was just like, I get it early, I could get that early, <gasps> and so I got it early, um, <clears throat> and I, at the time when everything was kind of coming out, I was like, oh my god, I wasted all that money, I could have just gotten it in stores they were everywhere now i'm like you know what i'm still glad that i got them off of ebay <clears throat> but yeah anyway so let's actually first start off with the bow damage model officer ignore my computer over there um it's wanting to talk right now <laughs> so yeah um let's first start off with the articulation so like the gallimimus there is a hinge joint in the neck so it can go up that much down that much the mouth can open up that wide this arm can hinge up that much in that much this arm can hinge out that much and in that much and this arm can go a full 360 this arm can also go a full, a full 360. And then this leg can move back that much and forward that much. There is a little bit of an outward hinge joint there. This leg can go up that much and back that much. It also has a little bit of an outward hinge joint as well. Um, Paint-wise, I really like the colors that they used on this model officers. They did not paint the, any of the claws. They did paint the teeth, there is a little bit of a bleed, but you know what, for how small the teeth are, I'd say that's very impressive, and they did even paint the eye, there is a little pupil that they decided to give it, and they did put a little bit of white on the crest there, um, and yeah, they got this nice dark green patterning, they got this nice kind of cream color on the underbelly. Kind of wish they continued that there at the tail. Maybe, yeah, the, the chest area seems good enough. But yeah, um, and yeah, sculpt-wise, there is no sculpting going on. There's no special sculpting going on in the insides of the mouth. They did sculpt the top, the roof of the mouth. Um... And yeah, here are the Jurassic, here's the Jurassic Facts code for the Monophosaurus. And yeah, so the reason why it's bowel damage, for those of you that do not know, is that, so pretty much you press on this, and it reveals this wound, which is all sculpted on the inside, and I think that was great that they did that. And then you just pull up the little tab, uh, which, I mean... It is, it's sticking out there, and I know that kind of irritates some people, but I'm like, you know what, I'd rather be able to do that and have that feature and have it just gaping open like that, or having a, a separate piece, because the separate pieces, I mean, any of you that are 90s kids that grew up with the Jurassic Park toys, and you still have any of your old Jurassic Park toys that have the little bowel damage feature... Yeah, there's like a 95% chance, like when you were a kid and now you're like as an adult, now you're an adult, it's most likely that you don't have that piece in your possession anymore. Uh, but I really like that they have this little sliding door function. Not everybody likes it, but I like it. Um, so yeah. Okay, now it's not wanting to close. There we go. So now let's actually take a look at the Battle Damage Extreme Chomping T-Rex. So pretty much the only thing different about this is its paint. Um, so let's actually 
uh, let's actually go over his sculpt. So, the sculpt, it's like the regular Extreme Chomping T-Rex, which I, I actually kind of like, except for one thing, it's the fact that the tongue's, like, sticking out, um, when you open it, because this is one of the older versions of the Extreme Chomping T-Rex, where the tongue stuck out when you press the button, not like when later they actually have it down, like, like they have it more so like that um so yeah and i really do like the sculpt it does capture the form of the t-rex and you do get a fair bit of posability out of this so let's actually go over that posability so the neck you can turn sideways that much sideways that much you could have that top piece look up a little bit down a little bit the main hitter with the head articulation is this part. You could make it go up that much, down that much, to the side that much, to the side that much. And then there is a nice ball joint in the tail so you can move it further that much, back that much, up that much, down that much. And there are hip joints that allow you to move the legs out that much and in that much. And there is a swivel joint at the ankles so they can move a full 360 and there is a weird hinge joint in the arm so they could go up that much and that much and they can both go a full okay not both of them apparently no they can both go a full 360 so this leg can go a full 360 this leg can also go a full 360 and yeah Paint wise, I do like the paint. They got this nice brown airbrush going on throughout the head and body, but not throughout the tail. That would be nice if they had that throughout the tail. But yeah, the main reason that makes this different from the other uh, Legacy Collection T Rex is the fact that they painted in these scars. I kind of wish that they sculpted in scars along with it. So, yeah, and back when the Bell Damage Spinosaurus was rumored, a lot of people were assuming that it would just be this, uh, similar to this, where they took the Spinosaurus that they already had and just threw some red paint on it to simplify, symbol, symbol, symbolize, ah, I can't talk today, symbolize, um, scratch marks. And yeah, so you get a scratch on the tail, on the leg, on the stomach, even on the nose there, um, and on the side you get some scratch marks on the jaw, on the neck, and yeah, that's about it for paint. They did paint the nails on the feet, not on the hands. They do have this cream color. I kind of wish that they continued it throughout the tail, but you know what? I really, you know what? A lot of people give a lot of hate towards the extreme chomping figures. You know what? I personally like them. I like the added articulation and all of that. Okay, and there's the Jurassic Facts app for the T-Rex. So, let's just have those there. And, yeah. So, for your human comparison, here is Ken Wheatley. Um, for your comparison here. So, there it is next to the Monolophosaurus, and he is not willing to stand. So there he is next to the Monolophosaurus, and there he is. He just reaches out about the jaw of the T-Rex. And yeah, so with these, you could actually have the T-Rex eat Wheatley, so yeah, there you go. Yeah, so it's supposed to work out some something like that. And for your Monolophosaurus comparison, here is the new Savage Strike Monolophosaurus with the little biting action feature. And yeah, you can see that this is a, actually a slight re-sculpt from this original one, but out of both of these, I really prefer the original Monolophosaurus. So, if you are able to find this pack in stores and you want a Monolophosaurus, if you want this Monolophosaurus, I just suggest really just going on to eBay or Amazon or whatever secondhand market you got. Or just if you're able to find one at your local store, just get it like that. Um, if you already have an extreme chomping T-Rex and you don't really want another one, yeah, um, don't don't worry about the T-Rex. If you do want another T-Rex, then sure. Uh, it's your choice. 
so yeah and here is the um and here's what i mean by like the tongue being low um so yeah they did actually slightly re-sculpt it but that's about it you could see like paint wise they are almost exactly the same. I think they put like one darker streak of brown on the original T-Rex. So, so yeah, it's this is pretty much just a slight remold. And this is like a slight remold and repaint because I actually got this one later than that one. So, yeah. Just going to move that aside. So, this is pretty much actually just a fun fact. This is the night before I leave for Washington, D.C. And hopefully I'll remember to do a vlog. Hopefully I'll have enough battery and storage to do a vlog. Um, and yeah. So, so as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I put up new videos like this one. And as always, dinosaurs might be older than you. But you are never too old for dinosaurs. Bye-bye.